Okay, so um, so the species, uh, I will clean up the species in the market and the restaurant quantitative data columns. You guys need to um, uh, work on the AK and AL, the fishery region and fishery location and processor location. You guys have to uh, fix those. And so again, um, first step, the easy step, is the first starter one is to use um, you know, one of those tools that we talked about and make sure that, you know, everything is spelled correctly. So everything has to be exactly the same. So there, can't, there cannot be an extra space after the A in USA. There can't be a capital U, a capital S, and then a lowercase a. It all has to be the exact same, same letters and spaces and all that kind of stuff. And so first is just to make sure the fishery location is right. Um, I will also have to send you guys somewhere. I don't, I don't know where the master list is, but we have another master list of region. Okay. So the region um, is going to look something like, where is this market quantitative? So the region is going to look something like North America, South America, Europe, Africa, et cetera. Okay. So sort of the broad regions. And so every, for every, co every column that says USA, mm -hmm. and there's also some subcategories of USA. Um, so there's, uh, so I'll, I'll create a list, I suppose, and, 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 and post it in another tab in this data sheet. Yeah, please. And so uh, let, me, let me share my screen, though, real quick so you can okay, see. Okay, let me stop sharing. Okay. Okay. So, um, so this is what you guys are going to... Are going to see. So here we go. So here we have this is the country, this is the fishery location, right? Let me make sure this is big enough for you guys to see easily. All right. Okay. So for example, uh, this one is from this item was from Morocco, processed in California. Uh, Morocco, Morocco, processed, City of Industries, California, right? All that kind of stuff, right? Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. But then we have this region. Oh, so let me step back. So in some cases, when it's really big, right? So if it's Morocco, meaning Moroccan waters or near Moroccan waters, that's fairly easy, right? Again, we don't know where the actual fish was captured. We only know the landings location. That would be the port into which the fish was brought. So it is possible that, you know, this is, this is they're saying this is, a pro this is a product of Morocco, but they actually caught it off the Azores or something. We can't do anything about that. That's, that's just sort of inherently problematic with the way we do this data. But Morocco, that's what we're going to use. Okay, so Morocco. Um, so Moroccan waters, that's in Africa, right? Uh, Italy uh, is in Europe. It's, it's, it's really the Mediterranean, but, you know, like, but, but right, we got that. Uh, Chile, South America. Um, USA, North America, right? But notice that for, for example, uh, USA, that could be New England or it could be Alaska, right? Or it could be Southern California or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we also have some additional descriptors, which on the product, the only thing you might see would be USA, right? Yeah. And so sometimes that's the best we can do. But in other cases, when we know it's locally caught halibut, right? And this site was in or the, this restaurant, let's say, was in Ventura, we know that it was, we could say that it was, you know, Southern California Channel Islands area, right? Um, so where we can add some additional data, you guys should, right? Okay. That, that'll help us when we do the, the estimates of carbon fin print. Um, so, so everybody, so every column that has an AG should also have something in the AF, and then after you've done that first pass, we want to go back and do another QAQC looking at this to make sure that there isn't some additional data. Again, if it's a small country, if it's Japan or something like that, it's, you know, Japan is Japan. But when it's a big country um, and it's something like the U.S. that spreads across different oceans and different realms, we want to double check that. And that's relatively easy. Once you get this all done, you can just sort by USA, right? So instead of having to go through every single column, right? 
mm -hmm. you can you can just go through the subset of the data that 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 is tagged with the USA origin and see if you can add some additional clarity. Canada is similar, right? Is it Canada? Is it Canada by the state of Washington, Canada, or is it Canada by the state of New York, kind of Canada? Um, and so, so you guys need to do that. So, so I'm, I'll do the species. You guys need to do the the location info, and then the other one is um, uh, you guys. We should probably do a new column. So, the seafood watch. The seafood watch is. Uh, and, and, and so this is something we have to wait till after you guys get the, we get the species and the, and the, geo -lo and, and the, the geographic location in. But, um, but basically, uh, this is sort of how, you know, what's the sustainability ranking? And so what we'll do is that the, the, once we have the final list of species, um, you guys will do it by species and, and create this ranking using um, Seafood Watch Guide. And you'll you'll have an updated list, and we'll 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 work on that next. Okay. Um, and then once we have the geolocation, we can also it's also relatively easy to do the to do the emission stuff. And so that's something I can help you guys with. So as far as you guys, your stuff, keep working on making sure everything is is cleaned. Um, and then you want to work on the geography, make sure everything's filled in geographically, and the fishery region is filled in. And then we can can have another meeting and touch base. Um, with regards to, do you guys need to do some extra surveys and stuff? I think the answer is yes. So uh, I'm still looking through our the data our students collected this year, and um, and and there's there are some problems with it. So I'm been trying to go through it and and clean it up as best I can. But in general, I think um, that we we sampled. Uh, Ventura County a lot. They didn't do a fantastic job on the larger markets and they didn't do a fantastic job doing things outside of Ventura. So we talked about you guys needing to do some of your own surveys to just sort of, you know, fill in the gaps. I think we need to do a few more uh, restaurants and markets in Santa Barbara County and in LA County. And so probably on the order of about, um, three or so large markets each, meaning like a Vons, an Albertsons, a Food for Less, you know, places like that mm -hmm. in uh, LA County and in Santa Barbara County. And then about, uh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to the restaurants yet, but probably similar on, on the restaurants. So probably, again, I think we oversampled um, Ventura County and we didn't sample many restaurants in Santa Barbara. We didn't sample many restaurants in Los Angeles County. So we probably need to do about um, you know, 10, 15 restaurants in each of those uh, uh, counties. Okay, sounds good. Um, is that okay if I can include some data because I'm going to Mexico for the winter break and where I'm from, uh, fish is the main source of like protein for oh, a lot sure. of people. Oh, sure. I think it'd be, I think that, I think it'd be totally interesting. I mean, we have to be careful because this is a Southern California data set, but if you want to collect it and we can compare, that's totally cool. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll keep it on a separate, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Separate tab, but that'd be awesome. That'd be, that'd be super cool. Okay. And, and so just, I would say just make it so that we can so we can make it comparable, right? So, yeah. so you probably won't be able to do everything under the sun. And so rather than do like a couple things and not be super helpful, I would say, let's pick what'll be useful. So, so are there, I'm not sure where you're going. Are there a lot of markets? Are there a lot of restaurants? What, 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 what's, what are the offerings? Restaurants. Okay. So then I wouldn't maybe worry about the um, markets then. And I would maybe just focus on the, on the restaurants. And again, remember uh, the other the other thing we should probably work on also is a few of the higher end, the more sort of on the more expensive side restaurants, because our students always tend to buy us towards the cheapest, like the cheap seafood stuff. And we want to get a, a, a representative, right? So we don't need to get a thousand super expensive restaurants. But we need to hit at least some, right? Because we want to know, hey, are those folks eating the same types of foods as as the as the the cheaper and, and middle point? Um, uh, offerings of, of places so i would say i would say um that should be your guide so i'd say hey i'm gonna hurry i'm gonna do like three cheap three you know ish you know so it could be three four uh uh 
cheap restaurants, three, four mid price restaurants, three, four on the more expensive side. And then you'll be covering the range, right? And so then we can say, oh, okay, now I want to compare that to what the offerings are in, um, in you know, Southern California from cheap, middle, uh, expensive. And, um, and, we'll, and we'll go from there. And again, the only rule is, right? Remember that they have to sell at least one seafood item is the rule. So if you go in there and you were to start doing the surveys and they ended up not having any seafood, you technically that wouldn't that wouldn't count as a survey. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Uh, my last question would be I don't know, <laughs> uh, kind of an uh, out of topic question. How did people from past projects do on this on the sustainable seafood? Uh, because I see that the data was kind of like all over the place. How are you, did, are you, are you talking about? You talking about past capstones? Yeah, capstone. Yeah. Only one previous capstone has worked on this project, and that was last year. So the the, the capstone students I had that have worked on this project before always mm -hmm. collected their own data, and so they so for example, I had a student one year that looked at um, that did additional surveys and asked people what seafood they ate. I can sign in if you guys want. Okay, cool. Um, thanks, dude. So once you do, you have no problem. Okay. okay, thanks, man. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. But so, uh, oh yeah, okay. So, so, um, so last year was really the first year that we had students that looked at the whole data set like this, and and it was because of COVID because they couldn't really collect really data and it was all weird, um, and, um, uh wasn't the best analysis last year on this. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's why I had you guys start from scratch because they, they definitely did some work last year, but it was inconsistent. And I think as you guys are seeing, it all has to be done correctly or it gets, you get weird. And so it was just easier to have you guys start again from scratch and, and, and get everything done correctly. Um, we, last year was also in the midst of the pandemic and it was just, there was just a bunch of, crazy stuff going on so okay. yeah okay sounds good all right okay so yeah those are all my questions i don't know if celeste has any questions no you you pretty much got all of mine um in the beginning okay cool yeah i've been listening i'm just kind of sick so i turned my camera off because yeah but i've been listening <laughs> okay i'm just going to kill the recording since we don't have any more questions so i'll just make it shorter. So 